My name is Liz Taylor. I began acting and modeling when I turned 50. <laughs> Okay, we got this, we got this. I just have to stop laughing. Okay. The truth is I've had a lot of people say, oh my gosh, you inspire me. And I think that's interesting because I love the fact that I inspire people. But uh, yeah, I started when I was 50 and it has been nothing but fun. <laughs>
That gives me the steam, getting this little this little number here. Really, at CMTC, gave you sort of the um, the courage and and the, the inner power to think, yeah, I can do this. Then they called us up to stage, and I, it's like, okay, here's my little number. I found my number. <laughs> Wow. So when you ask me what were the highlights of my acting career, uh, I think having my debut film screen, I, well, I directed, produced and starred in, of course, you have to make yourself, you're going to create your own material, then you might as well be the lead actor. But uh, I created a short film and it was screened at Tiff Bell Lightbox, which was like, what? So that was, I think, in my second year of being in the business. I think that was a huge highlight, walking the red carpet and doing all of that. It's like, this is so cool, what a great business. In my first two years of acting, I was booked over 200 times, <laughs> which sounds crazy. But the reason being, so let me give you little tips, is I, I thought, okay, how do I get into this business? So I would go to meetups, film filmmaker meetups or whatever. There's tons of Facebook groups that have, they host all kinds of things. I thought I'll just meet people and see if they need any help on set or you know whatever and so I started booking a lot of um, sort of short films indie films that sort of thing and honestly in this business the harder you work and the more people you network with often they would just call and say hey are you available for whatever and auditions weren't even part of weren't even part of it I mean I do love the audition process too because that sort of it gives you that adrenaline rush you know you're competing, you might not get everything, but the key is to be prepared, prepared, prepared. If, if they have sent you sides, which are the lines that you need to learn for a scene, for a commercial, if you're auditioning for a commercial or a film, know those inside out and be super comfortable. Because I think the number one um, thing that I could tell you about acting is never let them catch you doing it. They should not be able to tell that you are trying to act. It should just come naturally and they should feel like they're in the moment with you. I love acting, but I also love modeling. It's so much fun. The, uh, again, you're getting your hair and makeup done, which is great, especially for still, fo like still photography. I'm, not, I'm only five foot six, so I'm not doing runway modeling. But uh, I have done big campaigns, like for BMO and Andy Mattress was a blast. We were at um, in the subway station at Young and Bloor for seven weeks, huge posters. And I had all kinds of friends posting on uh, their social media beside the poster of my face in bed. It's like, oh, the Bite Beauty cosmetics campaign was so much fun. This is Bite Beauty too. Their products are awesome. But aside from that, being on set was great. And I, again, I was booked for one day on set and made all kinds of friends. And I thought these people are so beautiful. I'm so like, I feel privileged to be chosen to be in this. I guess they needed some silver hair, but, uh, <laughs> but they, at the end of the day, invited me to come back for the next day. And I thought, oh, awesome, double down. So I love when that happens too. Like you, book, you might book a day on set for something and they might say, you know what, can you come back? I'm gonna write, write you in to the, the, next, the next episode or something because they like working with you and you've made it fun and you've brought it to the table. Well, as far as auditions go, there's nothing more exciting than getting a message from your agent saying, you have an audition. It's like, yay! Because that, that's where the work comes in, the prep. You need to prepare, you need to read it and know what they're looking for. In your own mind, because we all think differently and have had different experiences, then you put that character into your head of how you Con how you conceive that to be and you show up ready and you give it your best and then you forget about it and walk away because sometimes they're actually auditioning hundreds of people sometimes maybe even thousands I don't know for one role which is crazy you can't beat yourself up over not getting something you can actually just feel really good about giving it your best and then on to the next thing because there's always something new and one thing I've learned too, it's like there might be a bit of a drought and you're thinking, how come nobody's calling me? And the next day it's like you could book something, a CBC comedy or something, which that actually is another big highlight of my, my career. I booked as a season regular on a, a CBC comedy called The Amazing Gale Pile, which is, it's a comedy show, but it's awesome.
being on set for commercial or film, I feel like a diva. They put you in the, the chair, the makeup chair, put a tarp on you, you just get your hair quaffed and everything done for you. You feel like a superstar, it's so much fun. Um, that, being on set, that's part of the fun, but also meeting your fellow actors if you're working with other people and meeting these people that are the makeup artists and the hairdressers and you know the other talent. You actually become like a film family when you're on a film set or a TV show set. And everybody gets to know each other pretty well if you're there for more than one day, you know. You get to know each other and you really are part of a team. It's not that one person is some kind of super talent or something. It takes everybody to, to pull it together and make something work. It's like a machine. It's like, an, it's like a, an artistic machine, which is the fun of it too, because it's like your little film family. And even from the beginning, sometimes you'll work with them over and over. And you do create like a little family, a little nuclear family of artists that you love working with. And it makes it that much more fun. Don't compare yourself to other people. Do your best, it takes a team. You can't watch a TV show with one person in it. There's gonna be room for everybody. Every size, every shape, every age, every style. So don't be afraid. You be you and bring your authentic self to set and just have fun. It's all about positive energy and working together. And it's like, don't, and, and a bit of mod, being modest as well. Like you can give your best and not be conceited about it. You know, and don't, that's another thing. Don't feel like you, you have to compare yourself with somebody else. Don't compare yourself with other people. You're you. You're amazing just the way you are. And it's like, there's plenty of room. What, what a boring sky it would be if there was only one star. Self-tapes are becoming more and more the common thing these days, which is kind of great. You don't need to go anywhere, drive anywhere. You can take more than one uh, tape, if, <laughs> you know, edit it out, take the one that you like the best and send it off. But what is so important is not to have a background like this at all. You need a plain background. I have a variety of screens. I'm, I'm looking over there because I can show you, but I bought box lighting on Amazon. Amazon seems to be my favorite. But I bought box lighting, I have a ring light, which I'm using now. I don't know if this lighting is good right now because it's like outdoors is right here in the window, but you need light, good light, good sound, and you need to have a plain background. So yeah, just relax, take it easy, shake it off, you know, and uh, do your take. And if you like it, awesome, save it. If you don't, just do it again and again and again till you get it right. But know the lines because that will make it work so much faster. The reason I joined ACTRA, well, first of all, let me say and preface this by, I didn't want to join ACTRA for myself I, because there was so much non-union work, tons, tons, tons of non-union work and really great work, like great commercials and episodics, TV shows, all kinds of things. And I thought, I don't want to be an apprentice. I'll wait until somebody books me. This is my attitude coming up. I'll wait until somebody books me and makes me full ACTRA right away. So you need to work on set, uh, I believe it's three days within a three week period. I don't even know what it was. Anyways, what ended up happening is I booked a CBC comedy series as a, a season regular for the amazing Gail Pyle, um, CBC comedy. And so I became actor, full actor right away by um, that circumstance, right? By exceptional circumstance, which actually I loved ticking off that box when I was joining the union. And it's like, by exceptional circumstance, that's what I was waiting for. And that's what I'm waiting for, for the States too. I haven't got my US visa, but I thought if somebody wants me, then they can just do all the paperwork for me and I'll just show up. <laughs> super, super glad that I joined ACTRA. The union has been amazing. The, the ACTRA conference that I went to, the first one, because I just joined, gosh, not even six months ago, I guess, um, was fantastic. The, the amount of courses, and it's actually like a family too. It's not just a union. They really have your back. And I chose to get involved. So I'm on the uh, women's committee, the Toronto Actor Women's Committee, and the Actor Age Committee, which you have to be, I believe, 55 years old. <laughs> and uh, what other? I'm on another, I, the voice committee, the actor voice committee, just to learn more. I 
think what I enjoyed most was uh, the awards banquet. And when they called my name for this, this was crazy. This is crazy to me. TV commercial award. Like this is the TV commercial competition. That was fun. But honestly, the whole experience, there isn't like one highlight of the CMTC. You learn so much. You meet so many amazing people. You are amongst so much talent that it's mind boggling to watch some of the, the competitions and things. You just think, wow, this is amazing. But at the same time, don't feel threatened. If you haven't taken dance lessons your whole life and you're not you know, doing backflips in the air, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Everybody on TV and films can't be doing backflips in the air all day. So sometimes it's a little bit you know, down toned and just be you because they need you. So go have some fun and show up. So if I had one piece of advice for people thinking about going to CMTC, I would say, first of all, definitely do it. It's an amazing experience. You'll meet great people. You'll learn a ton. You'll push yourself, actually, to get out of your comfort zone in the competitions and just bring your best and have a good time. That's what it's all about. And also you have a really good chance to connect with some amazing agents out there. So if you haven't already been signed, you learn, you connect, and you are winning no matter what happens just by being there. Going to see MTC. I think I can't stop smiling thinking about it. It was so much fun. I think I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs>